Okay, Gary here from Gun. We're here to talk about uh, some of our different moisture meters. And I have Christian here from Germany, from Gun Hi. himself. And uh, we're going to be talking about the BL Compact moisture meter. So this is the moisture meter we're going to be talking about. And uh, take it away, Christian. Okay, and we've got uh, basically a simple wood moisture meter with us. Um, as you can see, you've got these pins that are mounted on the on the housing, um, meaning that you will have a maximum wood thickness that you will be able to measure of, say, 25 to 30 millimeters. Um, you've got a wood moisture or wood group selection. You can do this by pushing the uh, pressing the arrow down button. Now you can see there's a three. Um, and if you shortly press the measuring button, you can change it flashing. If something flashes on the display, this always means you can change it. And now you can go up or down in the scale. You get a uh, booklet, which will tell you what wood species is what number. Um, so you can go down. And three is medium density, I'm pretty sure. Three is pretty medium. Um, it's it's pretty medium as far as um, conductivity is concerned. Yes. Um, because we measure uh, electrical resistance. Um, the most medium or the most intermediate setting would be if you've got an unknown species, for example, um, we recommend, I'm sorry, that was the wrong way. Um, yeah, there will be three with this meter. Yes. Three okay. is the most um, intermediate one. Yeah. Okay, so it comes with some spare little pins as well, just in case yes, we've yes. got some spare little pins. One thing people don't realise is they have, sometimes they get really dirty pins and they think that they're getting an accurate reading and I always tell them you make sure your pins, there's no plaster dust or anything on your pins to make sure they're very clean at all times. Yes, that, that will always help. How long do you reckon should, should you replace them? You know, how many, you, uh, you know, when they get a little bit blunt or when's the best time to... To sort of replace those pins. Well, I think there's there's no general rule for that. Um, yeah, I mean the the most obvious uh, point in time will be when they break, but they shouldn't okay. do that okay. so too often unless you um, really measure very hard timber and you do that all the time. And of course, you will have to be careful when you remove the meter from the wood. Um, so you should not do it like this. Or sometimes you have to, but you should always be careful when removing it. Um, and then I think um, the pin's life will be prolonged. Um, of course, if they get really, really dirty, and as you said, blunt, and you think, okay, they're no good anymore, um, then you could really replace them. There will be replacement pins with them. Gary will always have replacement pins in stock. Correct. So um, Yes. And, and then if you need to step up, obviously, we have other timber meters. This is our, our basic one. And then we can look at a hammer probe instead of going a little bit deeper into the timber. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. So what other settings does it have on that uh, particular meter? Okay. I see it's uh, turned itself automatically off. It will turn off after 60 seconds, 90 seconds um, to spare the battery. Okay. And then we'll just uh, be able to go. Oops, sorry. Yeah. We'll just be able to um, go through the different yeah, wood groups. Woods. Those are the different wood groups, those numbers. And you can see also that there's a small tree symbol. Yes. Um, if I go further, you will have a um, brick or wall symbol. Um, meaning there are also some uh, settings for um, plaster, um, rather soft building materials than hard ones, um, because the pins are limited. So you will not be able to get into concrete with this one. But as I said, there are some um, settings that you can use. Um, yeah, yeah, we've got uh, wood fiber insulation. Um, styrofoam, gypsum plaster, mixed plaster, lime mortar, and natural cork. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Those they're all the settings. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty easy to use. I like it. Very that's compact. It. Um, obviously, it's a good basic start to check surfaces of timber, but to go a little bit further forward, we have to look at one of the, um, you know, when we can get into our hammer probe, I think, to some of the, some of the timbers. But that's a great surface checking for some of the timbers or some of the surface checking for some of the walls. Fantastic. Thank okay. you. Thank you.